Because this video is all about panning, headphones are recommended. Planar offers a number of ways to achieve simple stereo panning. The most obvious is to simply use the joystick to pan from left to right. Of course, these gestures can be recorded and panning can be automated by looping playback of those gestures. Planar also has three CV modes that can be used to automate panning. The first is Cartesian mode, and using an LFO to modulate the x-axis produces left-to-right panning. If that panning modulation is fast enough, sideband frequencies can be produced. Of course, the y-axis can also be modulated to have volume modulation in addition to the panning modulation. Or, if you have four outputs available on your system, you can do quadraphonic panning. Planar's polar mode is very well suited to quadraphonic panning, but it can be also used to provide swirling panning, bringing in the volume and panning from one side to another. CV1 controls the rotational position, while CV2 controls the radius. By modulating the position with an LFO, spinning rotations can be achieved. And of course, if the modulation is fast enough, sidebands are also produced. Planar's scan mode uses CV input 1 to control the playback position of a gesture recording. CV input 2 controls the linearity of playback position. Sequencing the x-axis in Cartesian mode is another way to get interesting panning effects. You can either directly sequence the CV1 input, or you can use that CV to control the rate of an LFO. This is more obvious with a sustained tone. Of course, adding a stereo delay like Rainmaker makes things even more interesting. A gate sequencer like Steppy can be very useful to toggle the panning of your sequence from left to right and add more variation. Thanks for watching.